back in the day technology to have all this, it's, it's way easier now. And to think, all I do is for my channel, why you came all this way is just have my tripod, you and me, trim the nails back, and that's it. So now that the camera's on, you are very sweet, driving all this way and you even cut your other nails for you. What you could always do in the future, if you feel that they're very tough to cut, you can always, again, see someone closer to you, or when it is time for our appointment to touch these stick nails up, you leave them for me. These nails, like we discussed, so the camera knows permanently damaged. You know, you lifted the nail before, you had the tennis shoes, a lot of jamming. Nails are permanently traumatized, will always grow thick. We discussed about our conservative treatment today, which we'll do, we'll buff everything down, trim everything back. And because these nails grow so slow, you should be good for like six months before they really need to be buffed down again. You know, you drove almost two hours, or no, a little bit further, but I appreciate it. You don't have to do that in the future. If anyone's close, go ahead and see them, but we'll take it all down, clean it up. The only other option we have is the permanent removal, but because I see the circulation, the knee replacement, the, the blood flow to this foot, it's better that we just, and, and to be honest, your age, there's no need to put yourself through that when we can just maintain it nice and easy like this. Plus, of course, you know me, it's good to have something to film. If I remove your nail, that's it, you're never gonna see me again. <laughs> so, nothing should hurt. We're gonna trim as much as we can. If anything sensitive, you let me know, okay, sir? Okay, so you just relax the toes. You, you gave this one a good bang recently, too. So this is dry blood, that's what's underneath here. That's why the nail's already so lifted. And you can see the new nail that's actually growing in from the base. You can see that pink healthy stuff. So some people leave it and actually let the new nail grow in and they keep trimming off the dead stuff. And that's basically what we did. We trimmed off the bad portion of the nail. We're gonna buff this nice and smooth. Luckily, it looks like the second nail is not as bad as it looked now that we got that top part off. It's a little thick, but not crazy thick. Now this one, have you tried to cut this one on your own? Yeah. Good thing you didn't cut off your toes. You did, you did pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky, huh? So, if anything's sensitive, you know, don't be shy with me. We're gonna get all this stuff off. You're doing great. Oh, because I haven't started yet, that's why. <laughs> thank, thank you. So, the one thing I've learned cutting thick nails over the years, everyone, when we look at it, some people would think this is all nail. It's not. What happens, the nail bed, all this dead skin, is what has raised the nail off of the nail bed, making it look very thick. The nail is thick, but it's not the whole thing is nail. Most of it is the dead skin underneath. So we're gonna trim off some of these thick layers. The real important part is the buffing of the hard, thick layers, getting down to the thick nail bed. And you can see all the dead skin underneath. And so you were watching those weird videos on YouTube, weren't you? They were fantastic. <laughs> Oh, I thank you, and I appreciate you coming all the way. And... Oh, but they are random. Oh, thank it you. It was amazing. I was, uh, because this has bugged me for a long time. Well, I'm happy you finally, you know, went to see a professional. Well, you don't know where to go. That's the trouble. It is. I hadn't seen my new and done. It was exactly what I had. Yeah, it's a very common problem, and that's why... I... It, all. it was great. Oh, thank you. And that's the whole point re why... I... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I gave you a little poke. You okay? I was just making sure you're alive. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> so, 
So that's the only tough part is sometimes I do touch the live skin underneath. Sorry about that, sir. You just wanted to keep me on my toes, that's all. <laughs> now we can start to see underneath. I was trying to grab onto this stuff here. There we go. Now a lot of people ask, why don't you just buff it down right from the start? The problem is it creates too much dust. It's better to just get some of the thick stuff as much as you can with the nail nipper. Then I'll go in with my uh, Dremel tool and get the rest off. No pain here? Okay. Beside the time I stabbed you, that's good. That's good. <laughs> but yeah, it's unbelievable just cleaning it up how much different it's going to look. You can, all that stuff underneath is already kind of coming out. My wife will probably come up and kiss you. <laughs> you won't like that. <laughs> Hey, hey, don't be speaking for me. Maybe I will. That means I did a good job. You won't be uh, stabbing her anymore at night. So it's unbelievable how the body reacts by growing thick. My grandchildren hate these things. <laughs> You just have to tell him this is this means that grandpa used his feet. He, he wasn't just sitting down playing video games all day. That's what you tell them. <laughs> so that's good enough. We're gonna buff the rest of that one down. I'm gonna move over to this side. And same thing on this one. We'll get most of the thickness off first and then go for the Dremel tool. But yeah, I, I really appreciate you letting me film because I, as I was saying, the, the reason I started this whole channel is a lot of people don't know what to do with this. Like, what are your options? Is it something you have to live with? Is it something you can fix? So I think one of the most important things for people to know is that once a nail is this damaged, it's always gonna grow damaged. It's never gonna go back to normal. So you really gotta find the right person to maintain it if you're not able to yourself or if you really don't want to deal with it, you remove the nail forever. Like they say, more money, more problems. But no toenail, no problems. And of course, to cut this for people that take care of this themselves is very difficult. Very thick. Oh yeah, I wouldn't have to do it. That's why I don't go to the gym anymore. I just cut thick toenails. <laughs> I see some of those comments. Look at his guns. Those those are from cutting toenails, man. That's that's how you do it. That's a secret for big arms. You okay there, a little sensitive? No? Nope. Okay. You can see a little bit more we can get down. It takes a lot of skill to do what you're doing. Or you just gotta be a really good hack. <laughs> a little bit of both. I'm a really skillful hack. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree with those both. <laughs> yeah, it's a. Uh... Okay. 
So you've seen the clip. I, I use a file that has a little bit of water so you don't feel any heat. It's a little bit messier, but it allows us to get much, much thinner on the nail. The thinner I can go, the longer this will last. But if you feel discomfort, you just let me know. Give me a good kick. Make sure you give me a good uppercut and I'll, be, uh, I'll know when to stop. Okay. You okay, sir? Yeah, I know you're jumping. I'm gonna hold on a little tighter, okay? Yeah. If I'm hurting you, let me know, though. Okay. <laughs> oh, see, I'm also getting a good work. You're giving me a good work arm workout today. It's good. Get my reps in. Okay, almost done this one. The thinner I can go, the, the longer it's gonna last. Okay. Let me just see if I can get some this thick stuff yeah it's very hard in there so a lot of hard skin on the corner that's still some of the thick nail going down but sorry sorry I know it's the nerve he just wants to say hi he's just showing off that he's still working There's one, now the, now the star of the show.
You kept me on my toes that whole time. Oh my God. You made me sweat today, sir. Woo. Okay, sorry if anything hurt. Usually I have a very soft grip, but you got some happy toes, man. They were dancing. I think they, they were too happy. They were, yeah. I couldn't feel That's good, but yeah. I was holding on tight. Oof, my heart was pumping. Okay. No bleeding point, nothing, no damage. You can see how short the nail is. Everyone sometimes would see your original nail saying, look, he has nail fungus, it's this and that. No, what happened, the nail is permanently damaged. You can see it's one uniform color, but the nail bed up here has been traumatized. It's scarred, not allowing the nail to grow attached. It's growing raised, and that's why we get all that dead skin buildup underneath, making the nail even thicker. This is technically a healthy nail, not fungus, just thick and damaged. So as the nail starts to get thick all over again, we come back in, buff it down on a regular basis, and that's how we're gonna manage them, okay?